Good evening from Washington, D.C., and thank you for joining us for news from a Catholic perspective. I'm Wyatt Goolsby, in for Lauren Ashburn. President Trump tells Republicans to stop wasting their time on immigration bills until after the election. He doesn't think Democrats are serious about reaching a compromise bill. White House correspondent Mark Irons begins our team coverage. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Wyatt. President Trump wants to shift the focus back to border security. He met again today with angel families, those families whose loved ones were killed by illegal immigrants. The president says it's important to share their stories. These are the stories that Democrats and people that are weak on immigration, they don't want to discuss, they don't want to hear, they don't want to see, they don't want to talk about. None of our kids had a minute to say goodbye. We weren't lucky enough to be separated for five days or 10 days. We're separated permanently. President Trump made border security a pillar of his presidential campaign. It's still one of the main points he wants included in immigration reform. Lawmakers are trying to craft a compromise, but it's difficult with all the political posturing right before the midterm elections. President Trump had to back down this week on his border enforcement push that was separating migrant children from their parents, but he still wants immigrants who cross the border illegally to be prosecuted. Wyatt. So, Mark, how does the administration plan to house all of the families and unaccompanied minors who are stopped at the border? Federal agencies are scrambling to find space for migrants. Immigration and Customs Enforcement has issued a notice that it may seek up to 15,000 beds for detained immigrant families. And the Pentagon is trying to figure out how to house up to 20,000 migrant children on military bases. Wyatt. White House correspondent Mark Irons reporting. Thanks, Mark.